this tutorial we're going to continue examining the Mass Effects options in 3D Studio Max. And in this tutorial we're going to see how to use the Kinematic Rigid Body option. What we're going to try to simulate here is a simplified version of a bowling ball knocking over a pin. What I've done is created a green box that's going to represent the bowling lane. I've drawn a blue cylinder to rep represent a simplified version of a bowling pin and a black sphere to represent the bowling ball. So let's start applying some mass effects options to these parts. I'm going to start with the bowling lane, select it, and I'm going to set it as a static rigid body. I'm then going to select the cylinder that re that's going to represent a bowling pin and set it as a dynamic rigid body and then the bowling ball itself we're going to set it as a kinematic rigid body. We're going to begin the animation process of this simulation like we normally would do for any animation. We're going to turn on the auto key. I'm going to move the timeline slider to frame 100 then I'm going to take the bowling ball with the select and move command and I'm going to move it so that it goes to the end of the bowling lane and then of course turn the auto key option off. Now if we play a preview of this animation we'll see the ball roll like it should or move like it should but when it hits the pin nothing happens let's stop the animation however if you start the simulation using the option in the Mass Effects toolbar you'll see the animation play and when the ball hits the pin this time it actually knocks it over like it should <laughs> 